Welcome back to Cape Chronicle. I'm Mike Rennick. City planner Ryan Shrimplin joins us today to talk about some of the vital decisions made by the Planning and Zoning Commission in Cape and how it shapes our community. Ryan, welcome. Thank you very much for having me on your show. You bet. Glad, glad to have you here. Um, so how long have you been with the city, Ryan? I've been with the city for over 12 years now. Over 12 years. Okay. Mm -hmm. In this in this particular role? Yes, same role. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I, I know as part of your role with, with the city, so you're... You work with the Planning and Zoning Committee, correct? Correct, right. Uh, and that, that committee then makes, what, recommendations back to the City Council? Uh, most of the time, they're recommending body. There are certain types of applications where they take final action. Okay. Um, and this is a group of citizens? It is. Uh, it's a nine-member uh, commission. Uh, they're all citizens of the City of Cape Girardeau. They're appointed by the City Council. Okay. And just in a nutshell, like, like what is the role of the Planning and Zoning Committee? So the Planning and Zoning Commission um, is primarily responsible for uh, reviewing certain types of applications that are related to our zoning and development codes in the city ordinances. Um, for example, rezoning of property, special use permits, which are related to zoning, um, subdivision plats. Um, then also deviations from our development code, uh, which are called exceptions. Uh, those are for standards like parking and fences and landscaping and signage. So uh, they have kind of a wide range of, of different types of applications they review. Uh, they also have other spot duties, such as uh, annually they're responsible for approving the city's capital improvements program uh, before it goes to the city council for adoption. Um, they're also involved in the uh, Transportation Trust Fund, uh, the committee that's formed uh, prior to each vote, you know, which is a five-year uh, program. And so they have representation on that uh, committee as well. So they have their hands in a, in a lot, it, yes. sounds, it sounds like. Yes. Um, so, I mean, at the, at the core of it, if someone is wanting to build a business, they're wanting to do uh, something, you know, real estate-wise, a new subdivision, mm -hmm. those sorts of things get put through that commission. Yes. Um, not every business project involves uh, cases before the Planning and Zoning Commission. It really just depends on the scope of work. Um, some businesses will buy an existing property, an existing building, and they may just do some remodeling, uh, which may not require approval from, you know, a recommendation from the Planning and Zoning Commission. But if they're doing something more extensive, uh, particularly if they're subdividing property uh, or if the property is not zoned for how they intend to use it, um, then they may need to come before the commission. Uh, one of the hot topics as of late has been the mall yeah. uh, and, mm -hmm. you know, some of the uh, options potentially for the mall. Mm -hmm. That came before the commission? Um, that hasn't really reached the commission at okay. this point. A lot of that has been more as far as the financing packages okay. and, and some of that work has just been strictly permitting. Um, but they did have a subdivision plat that created some outlots along Silver Springs Road that, that did go before the commission. Um, and there may be some other zoning related issues that may come before them in the future um, as the plans unfold. You know, you hear, you hear planning and zoning a lot, mm -hmm. um, but I think it's something that a lot of people don't really know a lot about what actually happens because right. um, right. there seems to be so much of it that, right. you know, that, that goes on. Um, and again, I know you said it's, you know, citizens are involved in that. So what is your kind of role as being a, you know, employee of the city with the commission itself? So I'm the uh, director of the planning services division, okay. which is within the uh, community development department. Um, we're a two person team, myself and Carol Peters, who's the planning technician. And we're the primary staff to uh, actually three city uh, advisory boards and commissions, one being the Planning Zoning Commission. We also are the staff to the Historic Preservation Commission and the Board of Adjustment. And so most of our work, most of our day-to-day -day activities are, you know, involve reviewing and processing those types of applications and then taking them to the, to the commission. Then there's also involvement with the city council. I was uh, speaking with someone a day, or go, day ago or so, and there's a lot of activity in downtown Cape. Absolutely. You know, there's a lot, yeah. you know, the, there's the Broadway Theater, mm -hmm. you know, the Esquire. Right. I mean, there's just a ton of things that are happening, which, mm -hmm. which is great to see. Absolutely. Uh, your hands are in some of those things. Yes. Um, I'm also responsible for reviewing uh, architectural changes in our downtown area, the Central Business District. Um, and I'm also, through virtue of my position, a representative liaison from the city to the uh, Old Town Cape Board of Directors. 
Um, so I do work very closely with Old Town Cape as well as uh, downtown developers and businesses, um, particularly if they're remodeling their buildings um, and as well as any zoning related issues. So yes, I, I'm involved in quite a bit of downtown yeah, activities. You're, mm -hmm. you're, you're aware in many different ways yes. and obviously of, yes. of, of what is going on. Mm -hmm. So what about, what about this particular role for you? Um, mm -hmm. uh, do you like, you know, what, what kind of drew you to, the, to this uh, point in your life as far as where it goes? Sure, sure. Um, you know, development's always been one of my passions. <clears throat> I originally wanted to be an architect when I was young. I actually okay. have a, an undergraduate degree in architecture, uh, but then I went on to get a graduate degree in planning because I really, really was interested in uh, being part of public service and really working with groups and individuals on building communities. Okay, so, you know, in terms of architecture, that's more design sure. related, which is a part of my job, and I'm very passionate about that, but I also enjoy working with people and seeing plans come together and looking at things kind of from the big picture comprehensively, and planning is the perfect field for that because it, it really is a field that looks at things, uh, the interrelatedness of things, kind of looks at different disciplines and sees how they work together. And so uh, that's just something that has always appealed to me. And uh, so I've been doing it for several years now. I like that phrase that you use, uh, being involved in growing communities. Yes. You know, because mm -hmm. uh, that's so true. I yeah, mean, absolutely. you know, someone may see, you know, this building being rehabbed and it, it impacts, you know, these people. But it really, it really is growing communities. Absolutely. And, and that's got to be very gratifying. It is. Um, well, real quickly as we wrap things up here. So if, if. The general public has an interest in what's maybe going on with the commission or wants to find out more. What's, what's the best way for them to be able to do that? Um, they can certainly contact the planning office at City Hall. Our number is 339-6327. Uh, they could go to the city website, citycapegirardo.org, and search through the departments, and you can find community development and then drill down to planning. Um, we're very accessible. Um, you can call us. You can email us. You can stop by at City Hall. Um, if we're not in a meeting or out of the office, we'd be happy to meet with you and, and talk about anything that you're interested in, even if you're just considering something, even if you're just thinking about maybe buying a property and you have an idea for it and you want to know if it's allowed and what the process would be, um, we're more than willing to meet with you and, and talk with you about it and you know set you up for success. Ryan, we're done with your time. Thank you so well, much. Thank you very much. Appreciate yeah, it. Appreciate you being here. Again, Ryan Shrimplin. As we